taste buds today. <laughs> we are celebrating the art of sake here. The biggest annual sake celebration in the U.S. takes place at the Hawaii Convention Center on February 23rd. First. Joining us now are Chris and Tasho Pierce from the Joy of Sake and World Sake Imports, Ohio. Good morning. Good morning. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu. 22 years of this. Yes, 22 years. Uh, it is a nonprofit organization uh, comprised of many uh, generous volunteers that uh, all volunteer their time for the cause of spreading sake awareness, which is just uh, showing appreciation for the craft of brewing sake and all the culture that's associated with sake as well. Okay, now for those that are not familiar with sake, how do you begin to brief somebody about sake? Um, well, there's three main categories. That's a great way to start. The Jumai Ginjo, Dai Ginjo. All of those categories are represented at the Joy of Sake, where we have 578 different sakes available to taste. Yeah, don't try to taste them all, but uh, <laughs> they are there if you want to try. Or else I'd love to. Yeah. I know you brought some select ones, and you guys are so cute. You are the father's son owners of this business. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, you know, hockey, Hawaii has such an interesting sake heritage, you know. The first immigrants uh, arrived in Hawaii in 1868, and they were greeted by King Kalakaua at uh, Honolulu Harbor, and they, they had a sumo contest, and the winners got sake. So it goes back to those days. You can look at the old newspaper accounts. You know, they, they say the sake was pretty good. Wow, so when they used to break the barrels and, yeah. and wow, that's that. awesome. And then, then the immigrants came in, and eventually the Honolulu Sake Brewery, which was founded in 1908, was the first sake brewery outside Japan. And I was founded here, and it was it, it became like, you know, we had our own sake for many, many years, you know. Wow. And, you know, uh, so there's, you know, there's, a lo there's a lot of love for sake in Hawaii already. You know. Okay. And, and it sells out every year, I hear. That's how popular it is. Yes, we have uh, roughly a little under 100 tickets left. So if you guys are watching this today and want to uh, join us, it's a good time to jump on it. Real uh, quickly here, what do we have on the table? Yeah, it tells, I'm ready for tasting. So these are, uh, <laughs> these are... Okay, so all the sakes are entries in the U.S. National Sake Appraisal, which is a big contest. Okay. And judges come from Japan and taste them and rate them as gold or silver, whatever they win. So these are the actual sakes that are submitted for the competition. Is there a way to taste, you know, with wine, you, you swish in the mouth, you smell. What do you do with sake? Yeah, tell, show us how the process should be. Okay. okay. Um, what, what's, what's different with sake is uh, you don't spit it out. You know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. no, how no, dare no, you no. waste it? Yeah. No. <laughs> So what do we Which do? Which one did we pour? This is the uh, Koyo okay, okay. Kuranohana. So this is one that won a gold medal Ooh. at the U.S. National Sake Appraisal. Okay. So that's the one that we're drinking. And there's a lot of these types of gold medal sakes at the event. Yeah. Mm. Do you so drink do do? it fast? No, no, no? You, should, you should sip it. A lot of people just kind of down the hatch, but that's not the way to drink it. You just take it. I mean, it's, there's a lot of joy in this sip, so it, savor it, you know. We have to savor it. Beautiful aroma. Okay. What are you looking for when you just, kind of uh, test this it? This has kind of like some very, very beautiful fruit notes, uh, nice aromatic sake that you find in the Daiginjo uh, category. It's kind of like that magic. How do they make this flavor and aroma come from rice? You know? This is so, very smooth. Yeah. Smells yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. And it tastes really and, uh, good. And it, it doesn't have like a lot of acidity like wine does. So it's kind of easy drinking most of the time. Yeah. That can be a little dangerous for folks that aren't used to sake, though, uh, right? We always say drink a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> Stay hydrated. Stay yeah. hydrated. And what are these other ones that you brought? So these are representatives of the different categories. So we just had a Daiginjo sake. Uh, this is a, at the other end of the spectrum is a, is a Junmai sake. And this is more the sake of the farmer and the fisherman, ah. more rustic. Yeah. Would I you like, like to try a little sip yes. of that? Okay. Okay, while well, she tries that, oh, yeah. um, if somebody wants to get more yes. information and tickets, the, you only got about 100 left, where did they get them? Uh, joyofsake.com or at joyofsake on social media. We'll link you to all of our uh, platforms. There. And real quick, there's some myths around there. Just want to see if these are true. You can't pour your own. You should not. No, nope, definitely don't pour your own. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Also, there's... Um, Super high in amino acids, sake, so it's actually really good for your skin. It keeps you looking young if you drink a lot of sake. Thank you, Tasha. All the time, so, yeah. Is there a reason yeah. why you don't pour your own? I just think it's to create fellowship. Mm. You know, uh, it's you like know. sharing the yeah. joy. This, this event, um, all of the sake is put out in a traditional tasting cup. So it's in a white ceramic cup for each one. Ah, and okay. each guest gets their own sake cup. And, each, and inside there is a pipette. Like a, so you take your own. And then you just get. And just take, you know, take a small taste and do it like that. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back while Annalisa samples some more. <laughs> You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now. We'll put this on, on, the, on the internet uh, after we're done with Sunrise this morning. We'll be right back.